Hi everyone, I am back and I am doing a review today, something different. I really enjoy reviews. Every time I'm trying to look for a purse or you know in the market or I'm just searching, one of my favorite things to do is watch YouTube videos. I find them so helpful. I feel like um, getting reviews, doing my research, and just staring at that bag really makes me happy. So I feel like it's very helpful. I hope that this review will help anyone that's in the market that's interested in this baby. She is so beautiful. So I am gonna do a review on this Louis Vuitton monogram emprunt in, what color is it? In Infinity. And they no longer make this color so it's a color, I don't know how it's looking on camera. It kind of looks black actually. So my jacket, my blazer right now is navy, like a black navy in there. And it looks black on camera, but really it's this beautiful <clears throat> blue black color. Sometimes in the light, it looks like it's black. And then sometimes it looks like it's blue. It's really interesting. I really like it. So that's actually what, <laughs> what sold me and so to go back to the purse uh, one thing that I did forget was that this is a speedy bandolier and it is in the size 25 and so I bought this purse in August of 2014 so it's about eight months old a little over eight months old well it's older than that but um, I've had it for eight months already and I bought it in August, a month before my birthday, my 30th birthday. So my birthday is September 15th. And um, it's funny because I've been eyeing this color for probably a year before I bought this bag in August and um, the Infinity. And I was actually eyeing the Luminous bag. And it's, um, if you look online, it's kind of like a tote bag and it's, uh, it's a lot different than this. So I was eyeing that and I saw pictures and I really liked it. So then I really, I was thinking about the bags that I have and you know that my Speedy bag, I felt like it was so classic. I have a Speedy B in monogram print. And so I started thinking about this, eyeing it. And then I went into the store maybe in summertime and I saw it and I fell in love with it and kind of didn't want to buy it at that time. And so I went in and the girls were telling me that this color was being discontinued and that's like the color that I want. There's several different colors. I didn't want a plain black. I didn't want like a red or anything. I wanted this navy blue black uh, and I fell in love with it. And she was telling me that they were discontinuing it. And that always gets me and that's how I bought my Chanel GST. But of course I did want it. So then I have a very good friend and she came back from Vegas and in the summertime she bought this in the Speedy, Speedy B in, same, uh, in the black color in the size 30. And one day I'll actually compare the two of them next to each other so you can see the color difference and also the size difference. And uh, so I saw it and I'm like, oh, I even love it more seeing it on someone else and then also seeing it in the store. So I went back to the store and in about like around August and I was talking to my sales associate, Lisa, and she was telling me that this was actually the last one in store. And I know they say that a lot, but I, I trust her. So I was like, okay, my birthday is in September. My 30th birthday is in September. I need to get this bag. So I told her to hold it and then I told my dad, my, not my dad, I told my husband I was gonna go get this purse and he said, that's fine. And I don't know if you guys do this, but I always buy like my birthday gifts, maybe like for myself a month in advance. And then my husband's like, okay, that's your last gift. Uh, that's your only gift. And I'm like, I know. And then sure enough, he surprises me on my birthday again. But you know, he always falls for me saying, I'll buy a month and I don't want anything, but you know, girls we always expect more but so yeah so I, I bought it in August and I kept it in my closet in the box for a whole month until my birthday my 30th birthday and then I bought it 
So that's the background story with that. Um, I This is my favorite bag out of all my purses, but it's not necessarily my most used bag. Uh, I actually use a few other ones and I'll get into that another time, but let's focus on the purse. So this purse came in a dust bag, a huge dust bag. This dust bag is huge. Oh, and it's so wrinkled, I'm sorry. And it also came in this box right here. It's a big box like so, and then it just pops open, if I can get it open. Oh, actually this is the, I was looking for this. No, it comes in this uh, bag, a smaller bag. I was wondering where my other bag was, so here it is. Okay, so it's a smaller bag. And then it just opens up like a, like so, it's like a top box like this. And then it has the receipt, like so. And I bought it August 9th, 2014. So that's about eight months ago, a little over eight months. And I just checked the website yesterday and I believe the price is still the same. The price is $2,840 and then with tax, it, it, the tax was $234, so altogether it was $3,074.30. So actually, it was very comparable. It was actually very comparable, it's a post office guy, comparable to the GST that I just bought. The GST was around the same price, maybe give or take. Uh, the Speedy B in this leather is about 50 to $100 cheaper, I believe. So yes, so. And I, the bag is full right now. So here's a look at this bag. So this bag is a really good size, it's a 25, and I have the Speedy in the 30, and you, compared to each other, yeah, it looks like a huge difference. Um, and this does, I would say that this was, this carries a lot, but not as much as obviously the Speedy 30, but I really enjoy this bag a lot. So the details on this bag are, it has the embossed uh, leather and it's in um, engraved with the monogram print. And then it has these handles just like the traditional Speedy, but the handle drop is a lot smaller as you can see compared to this. The strap is a lot, oh, the strap is a lot shorter, but it doesn't make a difference, honestly. You can still carry it on the crook of your arm, and I'll show you what it looks like on. And then it has a little key holder, and uh, oh, the keys are inside of it, like this. And on the back of the key holder, it says, you probably won't be able to see it, but it says Louis Vuitton Paris. And uh, there is a lock. It has LV on it. And then on the back, oh, it's quite dirty. Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. I don't know if you can see it. So yeah, it has a little lock, and then there's these gold hardware details, and it says Louis Vuitton on it. And then 
On the side of the gold on these says Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. It says Louis Vuitton on this. And on the strap right here. And then on the zipper as well. I'm blinding you right there. So the hardware is really nice actually compared to the hardware of the regular monograms and other prints. The uh, gold I feel like is, is shinier on this. The hardware seems heavier and uh, oh I forgot to show you on the bottom of the purse there are uh, little studs on the bottom the regular Speedy doesn't have the studs on the bottom, so that's nice when you want to put it on the floor. But I don't put it on the floor. And then, that's the details for that. Right now it's full, so actually I will show you a um, modeling shot right now because I'm going to empty it to show you the inside in just a second. But I want to show you what it looks like uh, full while I'm wearing it. And uh, it has the little strap. That's why it's called the bandolier. The regular speedies don't have it. And right now I'm wearing it on the shoulder strap style. And then it comes with an extra strap. And it says Louis Vuitton on it as well. An extra strap that you can connect to the two straps to make it crossbody. And I will show you as well. So I'm gonna do a quick modeling shot of the purse on, so you can see, because I find that very helpful as well. Okay. So this is how I wear my purse, like this. This is what it looks like on your shoulder. And, uh, I don't zip my purse, so I just leave it hanging open. And if you zip it, it may take on a different shape. So that's the shape like that. And then let me quickly put on the third strap. And so it connects like this. And I'm short, so I'm gonna put it on the second to last strap. I'm 5'2". And again, it connects to the other side right here. Yeah, so this is a beautiful purse. Uh, it's, it's just so luxurious, the leather, and I highly recommend it. I feel like this is my favorite type of um, over monogram and the canvas and everything. I really like the imprint leather. And I, ha I don't have any, um, what's it called? The shiny leather, is it called Vernice? And then the other, oh gosh. But you know what I mean. I only have the canvas and I only have the imprint type of leather bags. So this is what it looks like crossbody. And I can actually, I still have two more holes I could go down on, but I feel like this is a good height for me. And you, like this, crossbody. But I don't really wear it crossbody, I'll wear it like this, just over my shoulder, and I walk around. And then you can also wear it in the crook of your arm, like this. And I usually don't dangle this down here. I'll just hold it up in the crook of my arm like this. Oh. Like that. So those are the shots with me wearing it. 
I'm gonna take out everything so you can see the inside of the bag. Oh, look, I love cats, black cats. It's a purse organizer. kind of dirty okay so I already explained the outside of the bag and um, I believe that's everything for the outside oh I did want to mention that the these little clasps on the straps are very are different than the clasp from the speedy the regular speedy and actually do I have them I do have it So the straps for the regular Speedy B look like this, like that. And then these are the Emperor Speedy B chains. So they're significantly bigger, which also means that it um, is a little bit heavier. And since this is an all leather bag, it is heavier, but honestly, it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful that really, I mean, it's such a small bag that you really can't notice how heavy it is and honestly it's not that heavy so inside the bag there is oh my goodness I still have the blue I didn't even realize I still have the blue I don't use the inside pocket this blue sticker so let me take that off nice so you can actually see how shiny this little strap is so inside the zipper there's a little zipper pocket and it's not too deep and then it zips really smoothly and then inside it says um, it's dirty a little bit Louis Vuitton Paris and the lining is a blue color it's not black it's like a dark navy and it has a stri the stripes just like the um, never full design it's like the cloth the cloth and then it has the stripes and then on the other side is two pockets right here oh and uh, here are the cards you can fit an iPhone in here you can fit an iPhone in here and then you can fit your clay, your clay in here as well, which I do. And then inside there is a D ring. D ring right there. And then the, in the corner right here, you won't be able to see it, but there's a little, um, little it says made in oh this is made in USA but I really don't look at that it is a plus that it, if it's made in France but um, I don't mind if it's made in the USA or Spain and um, I also have these popped out of my purse which I need to put them back in the box but this is just the um, the card that says outside calf leather and then um, it says textile interior lining And then it's just the um, the care booklet for it. And then here is the card that goes with the Speedy. And yeah, so as far as the pros go for this purse, the pros are it is gorgeous, and um, it's gorgeous. The leather is super soft and uh, it definitely will get softer with time. And also, I love the hardware on it. Uh, people wonder if it's really heavy. Uh, it's a heavier than the monogram pieces, but uh, nothing that's uncomfortable. And then, as another pro is the color. And then, as far as this leather goes, I feel like it's a very, like, strong leather. I don't think that you have to be too worried about it. I had it for eight months and it looks amazing. I don't have any 
probably in a year or two, I'll do like a review on the like the wear and tear of it. But honestly, it looks so good. Uh, the cons for it would be actually I don't think there's any cons. Maybe the price because the price is in the higher end, um, and but it's worth it. And another con would be honestly. That's, that's it, there really isn't a con for it. I love this bag. The Speedy is classic, you know, and if you wanna venture out into like not the monogram Speedies, I definitely recommend this. So, and also I wanted to show you what else I do to kind of decorate it. I have this, uh, this, uh, I believe it's a, what is this called? Bandeau, I think. And this is a Louis Vuitton bandeau. And actually, I bought this for my husband because we had a uh, 1968 gala. And I, in the 1960s, so I drew up, I dressed like um, Audrey Hepburn in Tiffany, what was it called? Breakfast at Tiffany's. And then my husband looked up um, like 1960s wear. And there's this guy that was wearing like a blazer and he had a beard. And then his shirt was open and he had like, like a really fancy like little like bandeau that was tied around his neck. So I looked online on Louis Vuitton and I could have sworn I saw something that looked similar and it did, it looked like this what the guy was wearing. It wasn't Louis Vuitton. So I bought this for my husband and he wore it to the, I figured he, he would wear it and then I would um, wear it after him. So he wore it once to this, this 1960 uh, gala. It's a fundraiser that we went to and um, he wore it once and now I use it for my purses. So, you know, what I really think is pretty is, you know, tying the little bow around it and then also wrapping the handles as well. I'll show you in an Instagram picture, but this just looks so good together. I feel like these two look so good and I even put it on my um, regular Speedy. So this color just looks so nice together. So I'm trying to think if there's anything that I forgot. I do recommend it. Um, even though this color isn't here, if you look at Nastasia's page, she has like the one that's like the wine colored. They do have a black now. They have like several colors. The mustard is really pretty, cream. So that is my review. If you have any questions, I know this is really long, but I wanted to do a detailed review on it just because I am obsessed with bag and purse reviews because when you make a purchase you want to make sure that you do your research online and make sure you do your research on YouTube and see what others opinions are so honestly I do recommend this purse and um, thank you so much for watching please like please comment if you would like if you have any questions let me know and if you would like please subscribe I really appreciate it thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.